Hey yo, what's up? My name is Kevin Kilonzi, aka Kev the Rev, here with another episode of Come On Man Moment for this week. And so today we want to look from uh, 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 Genesis again, chapter 21, verse 33. Now, Abraham always worshipped in a very certain way. Whenever we see Abraham worshipping in scripture, the Bible says that he built an altar and there Abraham called on the name of the Lord. But the other times that the Bible says that he went back to altars that he had built and there called on the name of the Lord. Uh, but there's a time that comes and Abraham worships in a different way. Abraham, I mean, he just goes all different uh, with his worship. And the Bible says this in Genesis 21 verse 33. He says that Abraham planted a tamarisk tree in Bathsheba. And there he called on the name of the Lord, the eternal God. Now, two things to notice here. Whenever you see a new name of God introduced in scripture, it's always done so by revelation. It's God who reveals himself to people. It's not people who discover God. It's God who reveals himself to people. And so in this case, God sees Abraham worshipping in a different way. He's not building the altars the way he used to build them. Right now, Abraham is planting a tree and he's worshipping. And in that worship, God comes through that and he reveals a new name. And he says, hey, Abraham, I'm not just God, the one you've known in the past. I am the eternal God. Amazing. This year we have an opportunity to worship God differently. We have an opportunity to trust God differently. We have an opportunity to have a new revelation of who God is. But it will take for us to be willing to get into new spaces and new spheres and new forms of worship where we say, God, I'm going to call on you differently. Maybe I used to you know, only go to church, but this time I'm willing to do something extra to that uh, uh, so that I can, you, I can get a fresh revelation of who you are. Abraham plants a tree. There was nothing wrong with the altars that he used to build. There was nothing wrong with what he used to do before. But in this time, God sees someone do a new thing and he says, I want to reveal a new name to you. And that name was important, the eternal God, because God has already made promises to Abraham. Maybe things are seeming to be coming a little bit slower for the fulfillment of these promises. But when God says, hey, Abraham, I'm not just God, I am also the eternal God, then Abraham realizes even if it takes eternity, God is still going to come through. Even if it takes forever, God is still going to come through because he, he is the eternal God. Some of you need to know God as the, as the healer. Some of us need to know God as a provider. Some of us need to know God as the all-sufficient savior. Some of us need to know God as the one who's merciful and his mercies are new every morning. But sometimes it takes you just taking a different posture from the posture that you've taken in the past. Come on, man. Mm -hmm.